Hey, what's up? I'm Roller Coaster Writer, and although you can't see it, while Kay isn't here, uh, Coaster Kitty is here. Aren't you, Coaster Kitty? Anyway, um, she's here because I'm going to do a review of the movie Nine Lives. This one stars Kevin Spacey, um, Mark Consuelos, it stars Jennifer Garner, it stars this other girl, and, um... I'm, I have a personal political thought about this movie, but I'll get into that later. Um, according to Wikipedia, this movie was made and released, or I guess scheduled to be released in 2015-2016. However, I feel like the script was maybe written maybe a decade earlier because, because uh, there is a George Bush reference. Um, they actually show his picture, so... That should show you about the time that this movie was released. Um, this movie, uh, I guess, came out the same weekend as Suicide Squad, and if you ask me, uh, Suicide Squad was the better movie. Okay, enough ranting for now. The movie starts with uh, Kevin Spacey and his, um, I guess his son? Who's his son played by? Uh, David played by Robbie Am Amol. Amel? Hmm, something like that. Anyway, uh, he's, he's a, he's a very kind of Donald Trumpish kind of person to where he's a, well, maybe more like Richard Branson mixed with Trump. He's like Richard Branson because he, uh, skyscrapers, or, uh, bun, sky jumps? Something like that. Um, he does, he does that while at the same time he's opening a huge, bigly, uh, building in New York City with his name on it, and it wants, he wants it to be the tallest, and he also has a plane named after him. He also has a plane with his name on it, and he wants the building with his name on it, so, oh, by the way, this is the reason why Kay isn't here, because she didn't want me to bring up Donald Trump, or she didn't want to be around when I did. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, so then after that, uh, it's apparently his daughter's birthday coming soon, and you get, yeah, you get the feeling that he's one of those, like, work all day, sleep all night, n not being around for his kids, which, you know, that happens a lot of times. Fortunately, the mother, played by Jennifer Garner, is there to kind of be the rock of the family. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, so... He has a business meeting about like what should I get? What should I get my kid? Cause I don't like cats. Shame on him. I don't like cats. What should I get him? And they actually drop the uh, they actually drop a little bit of profanity here, where, which amazed me that this movie was rated PG because there's also references to other um, there's references to uh, alcohol drinking, um, and there's references to um getting a cat fixed. However, they don't say it like that, which amazed me when I found out this movie was PG. I was thinking it, th some of those things weren't exactly needed, so they could have probably made it G-rated or so, but I really feel it, it really got close to that PG-13 rating, which for this kind of movie doesn't make any sense. So anyway, he has a cat. He want they. He decides. You know what? Fine. I'll get a cat. So he does this crazy New York driving, which, as someone who has been to New York City many times, that is a very uh faithful reenactment of New York City drivers. Yeah, I said it. Um, he ends up going to this perfect uh pet shop, uh played by uh, what's his name? Oh, Felix Perkins at the played by Chris played by Christopher Walken. And uh he's kind of like the magical mystical dude. Um if you saw Hot Tub Time Machine, he's like Chevy Chase basically. Um where he's like, Don't answer that phone. Things will happen. So then he's with his uh I guess business partner, not his son, but uh Mark Consuelos. Uh, who he, on the phone, he trips over, or he kind of gets kind of electrocuted, 
and so he's kind of hanging with the cat, and so, um, so then he asks Mark Consuelos, can you help me? But he doesn't want to because, like, you're going to fire me? So then he just, so then he free falls. And then it does a kind of iris fade out, kind of like the Looney Tunes things. Um, then, it co then he finds out that he's a cat, Kevin Spacey is, and the Kevin's the body is kind of essentially, um, oh, what's that term? Oh, he's in a coma, sorry. Uh, it takes him a little while to figure out that he's a cat, and then, uh, Christopher Walken essentially says, like, no one knows that, or, I'm sorry, <clears throat> no one knows that you're a, a kitty, so you've got to tr try your, your, your best, you know, with, like, wow. Okay, one is talking like Christopher Walken. I, I'm I'm kind of sick right now, so I don't do the best walk, and I haven't done it in a while. So then, um, he kind of tr he then tries to like leave hints that he's him. Like he tries to write he tries to write with the pen, which is actually pretty funny. Um, he gets drunk, which is very funny and not something I recommend with cats. Um, he. When they, when they, ugh. what is her name? When Cheryl Hines' character suggests that, uh, that he needs to see an animal trainer, um, the cat, Kevin, Kevin Spacey is the cat, uh, leaves a paper trail of, in the, with the yellow pages, to which the daughter says, what's the yellow pages? Which is actually pretty funny. And then, uh, it leaves a trail, and then it reveals Mr. Perkins. So then, uh, Kevin Spacey tries to, um, tries to help, including, um, he thinks his, he thinks his wife is having an affair or is going to leave him when in, I won't say what that's about. Meanwhile, around this time, uh, his son is taken over his company to try to figure out, like, how to build, how to make his building taller, and Mark Consuelos um, is essentially just being the evil bad guy, the, the evil bad business owner. Anything, just about anything you can think of that a bad business partner would do to try to force the company to sell, he does just shy of everything you can think of. Um, around this time, uh, the daughter kind of starts realizing that Kevin Spacey is in the is in the body of the cat, um, including dancing, including um, bouncing a balloon back and forth, including um, there's actually something that involves uh, one of her friends, kind of. That yeah, that's a sign that the father is trying to help her. There's also another one where uh, Kevin Spacey as the cat helps her with her homework. And uh, one thing I do want to say is that Kevin Spacey, uh, I'm not going to get into his personal stuff, but uh, while I guess he's okay as an actor, as a voice actor, especially uh, in the in the as a cat, um, leaves a little much to be desired. Um, I I think I don't know if maybe he was miscast or if he's not a good voice actor, but it's something like that. I think um hmm I don't know maybe Neil Patrick Harris or uh someone else in this role might have actually been pretty funny in it, but as it is you know there are times when Kevin Spacey as the cat is funny and there are other times where he's like, yay I'm okay woohoo, like it goes from wow to Oh, uh, whatever. Kind of like Kevin Spacey in real life. Anyway, um, so then he tries to be the better dad. He realizes how he wasn't necessarily a great father. We've all seen this. We've seen the storyline several times. Um, huh. Would I rec what did I think of this movie? You know, it... I have to be honest with you, it wasn't as terrible as I thought it was going to be. I came into the movie with a few expectations, 
Um, I won't necessarily bother you with some of them, but, uh, I was hoping that it would, it would, uh, it would be funny, it would make me laugh, and, um, it would be, uh, Hmm, I guess kind of factually accurate compared to other movies starring, yeah. <clears throat> and I did kind of get that. I got some comedy out of it. I got some, I did get some laughs out of it. There were a few funny bits. It was like, I think one of the things is that if I was a cat, would I have acted the same way? Probably. Um, I don't know if I would have eaten fruit or... Fruity Pebbles. Um, there's one funny bit where he was trying to uh, type on a um, iPhone, and he said, "Man, I ironically, I wish I had a mouse right now," <laughs> which was pretty hysterical. Um, the movie it's kind of okay when it's just Kevin Spacey in that building. When he goes out and when he goes out and tries to either help or tries to either help his family or help his company or help his son or various things. That I think is much better and much stronger and maybe maybe what the movie probably should have been more of. Um I'm not gonna say what happens at the end, but it's it's a case of saving it's a case of saving a family member at your own risk. That's what I'll leave it at. Um and they do kinda leave it open, I guess Maybe they thought this could have been a good franchise, so maybe they wanted to make ten lives, because they they do mildly hint at a they do they do a little bit of sequel baiting. Uh, hmm. Christopher Walken, he was he was kind of funny, but a lot of what he he was mainly set up as a straight man. The time that I laughed at was when he danced, and I don't know why I just did. Um, would I recommend this to people? I would recommend that if you're a, that if you're a kid, like maybe if you're like 11, 12 or so, um, or maybe if you're, well, the kid was 11, so if you're like, I don't know, somewhere between like 5 and 13, maybe you'll be okay with it. Um, I can't say that, you know, oh, it's rated PG or it's a kid's film, so that'll make, so it's only for kids. I think that, uh, there are tons of kids' films that I like, you know, I like Frozen, I like the Madagascar movies, I like, uh, Puss in Boots, I like, uh, I like Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Yeah, um, so I can't say only kids would like this movie. I don't, is it dumb for adults? Hmm. If you've you've you might be a little bored because you've seen this uh over over overworking father doesn't care about his kids. You've seen you've probably seen that storyline before. Um this one does it I don't know, I guess it does it kind of a little bit better or it doesn't do it as bad. I can't uh Squirrel Talk compared this to Shaggy Dog. I don't remember the Shaggy Dog, so there you go. That's my review of that movie. And I did see it. So, um, yeah, I'd, I'd recommend people see this movie. If nothing, um, either as a kid, you'll probably like some of the gags. If you're a cat person, you'll love some of the gags. And if you're an adult, um, it just might get into one of, it just might get into that. Uh, it's not one of those so bad it's good movies, but it's not a terrible, painful movie. You know, it's not, uh... Huh, what's one of those terrible, bad movies? It's not, uh... It's not, um... Super Mario Brothers that we reviewed, uh... A while ago. Anyway, I think that's about it. Um, hmm. I need to do a tease. Join me next time when I take a look at a movie... From someone who has sadly passed away. And hopefully, this was a good film of his. Until then, I'm Roller Coaster Rider. Coaster Kitty, do you want to say anything? No, you're just gonna lay there? Okay, bye. By the way, no uh, cats were harmed in the making of this review. <laughs>